gathered from across the globe to share our stories and discuss how, through actions in kitchens, classrooms and communities, chefs can contribute to the United Nations Global Goals. Together we stand for ingredients grown with respect for the earth and its oceans, protection of biodiversity and improved animal welfare, investment in sustainable agriculture and farmer livelihoods, no food loss or waste, celebration of local seasonal food, a focus on plant-based ingredients, education on food safety, healthy diets and nutritious cooking, and nutritious food that is accessible and affordable for all. We the chefs, we the chefs, are working together to create a better food future. future. Here in eastern Kenya, there's been little rain for the last two years. And with popular produce like maize failing, local farmers have had to look to crops that cope better in the arid conditions. Joyce Mutanya is one of the farmers who has seen her maize harvest dwindle. So now her crop of choice is the local cereal sorghum, which requires three times less water. In the past, we used to depend on maize in this area. But it is not growing anymore, so we are planting sorghum instead. We are looking to increase our production. Sorghum seems to work better both for selling and household consumption. Sorghum is not new to farmers here, but in recent years maize has been favoured, resulting in many old sorghum recipes being forgotten. With a return to growing sorghum, Joyce is bringing back traditional dishes. Today she is visited by Kenya's celebrity chef Ali Artiste, who wants to learn more about cooking with this little used ingredient. Joyce will teach the chef a sorghum recipe called Muviku. But first, she shows him their only source of water. When you look at how the drought is actually affecting people here, it's that, you know, it's really dry that getting water is also a problem. We went to see that and uh, it's really incredible, like, you know, how they get the water, like, you know, they have to go deeper and deeper. The second ingredient of today's recipe is green grams or mung beans, another drought tolerant crop that Joyce also grows in her field. Through a government project funded by the International Fund for Agricultural Development or IFAD, farmers received high yielding, high quality varieties of sorghum and mung beans and are learning how to cook with them. Farmers are also being trained water-saving practices, as Senior Project Coordinator Esther Magambo explains. Employing practices like conservation agriculture so that not much water is lost at the farm. We walk the farmer through a journey where the farmer gets the most appropriate seed, the best fertilizer for the farm, and also ensure the farmer has been given skills so that all the agronomic practices are done in such a way that they get the maximum yields possible. Back home, and the cooks get to work. So cool. Joyce has invited friends from her farmers group to help dehull the sorghum. It's amazing that you know uh, when we speak of sorghum, like. We don't really consume sorghum, only a few very unique dishes. As a chef, I would say it's easier to cook. It cooks really fast, it's tastier, and it's more healthier than maize because it contains more minerals than maize itself. She says I'm spilling it. I'm wasting it. With millions of Kenyans facing possibly the worst drought since 2011, rediscovering these highly nutritious ingredients means farmers like Joyce can feed their families and even have enough to sell. The sorghum is washed and boiled for 15 minutes. Then the mung beans are added in. So that's going to go in for the next 25 minutes. It's always good for me to come to such a place, to see such a situation, because I love to learn more from farm to plate. And uh, we could do a lot with sorghum. So yes, I think I can create a lot of recipes with sorghum. So this has changed my thinking in terms of uh, sorghum recipes. Beautiful, beautiful flavor. So far, 80,000 farmers like Joyce have learned about more efficient farming practices through this seven year program. 
No one knows what the future holds, but for now at least, yields are increasing, nutrition is improving, and forgotten recipes like muviku are being enjoyed again. Thank you.